क्लासेस मैनेज बाय मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्कूल न्यू एरिया नवादा माय सेल्फ सुजय कुमार योर मैथमेटिक्स टीचर मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्कूल न्यू एरिया नवादा डियर स्टूडेंट टुडे आई डिस्कस सम रिमेनिंग प्रॉब्लम ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन ए एंड द रिमेनिंग प्रॉब्लम आर नाउ एग्जांपल ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन बी सो प्लीज सी हेयर ऑल क्वेश्चन आर रिलेटेड टू LCM, HCF, and prime factorization method and equally division methods. So see here, your question number nine example of exercise one B, that is find the HCF and LCM of one hundred eight, one hundred twenty, and two fifty two by using prime factorization methods. One method is equally division methods, another is prime factorization methods. So, dear student, first one by one, find out the prime factorize of each number. First, one hundred eight divided by two get fifty four. Divided by two twenty seven. Divided by three nine. Divided by three three. Divided by two sixty. Again, divided by two thirty. Again, divided by two fifty. Divided by three five. Similarly, two fifty two. Divided by two one twenty six. Divided by two sixty three. Divided by three twenty one. Divided by three seven. Now arrange it. That is one zero eight. That is two into two into three into three into three. From here, two into two into three into three into three. Next one twenty. You write here two into two into two into three into five. Two into two into two into three into five. Two fifty two. Two into two into three into three into seven. Two into two three into three into seven. First, you find how HCF, HCF, common among them. So two is common among them. That means two are present in three number also. Again, two also present. Three is present. No any other number of this three. One two present in every term. Two also present in every term and three present in every. No only seven is not present. Five is not present. So I write one two, second two, and third. So two into two into three, that is twelve. Answer. It is that here, and this method is called prime factorization method. Now you find LCM by prime factorization method. So first you write each number in the exponent form. Here is two into two into three into three. So I write here two a square into three a square, three cube. 2 square and 3 cube. Here is 120, 2 cube, 3 into 5, and here is 252, 2 square into 3 square into 7. Now you write each number, but the highest exponent. Here is 3 to the power 3. Here is 3 to the power 1. Here is 3 to the power 2. So I write 3 to the power 3. Then other number you don't write it related to 3. Here three to the power three. If you write three to the power three, then never write three and three to the power two. So I write three to the power three. Next two to the power two, two to the power three, two to the power two. So highest is this. So we write two to the power three. Then don't write two a square and two a square. And five is zero. So I write five here. Seven also zero. So I write zero. That means there are so many numbers here, but all are present there. Find out five present, seven present, three s part present in here, three present in here, two cube present in here, two s part present in here. So all number are present in LCM. And now multiply it. Then three into three into three twenty seven, two into two into two eight, and five into seven thirty five. Multiply, then you get seven five six zero. And this is the LCM that is least common multiple. Like right? this number is. List common multiple of one zero eight one twenty two fifty two. Now see question number example eleven. That is find the largest number which divides one twenty nine and five hundred forty five, leaving the remainder three and five respectively. That means what is the largest number that divides one twenty nine? Then we get remainder is three, and when you have it five, four, five of that number, then we get remainder is five. Both number are same. That number divides one twenty nine. 
then remainder is 3 and that number divides 545 then remainder is 5. So that is the part the highest number that is the largest number how you can find it. First you find remainder is 3 and 5. So first you separate remainder from these two, two terms. Here is 129, here is 145. That is what is the required number that exactly divisible by that greatest number. So first you subtract these 3 and 5 of the remainder of the respective number. Here is 129 and remainder is 3. So you subtract 129 minus 3. Then you get 126. Another is 545. And remainder is 5. So 545 minus 5 is 540. That number is exactly divisible 126 and 540. Then it gives remainder 3 and it gives remainder 5. So what is the largest number that divides 126 and 540? So you find LCF of LCF of 126 and 540. Then you find it is 126 and here is 540. You have it is 2 times, 3 times, 4 times. So 126 into 4 times, 6, 4 is 24. 4, 2 is 8, 10, 5, 4 is 6, 4. 6, 4 is 24, in hand 2, 4, 2 is 8, 2, 0, 4 and 5. So, 5, 0, 4. So, I write 1 time, that is 124 times, you get 504. Then it is 36. And here is 126. Divide 3 times. 36 into 3 times, that is 108. So, it is 108. Then here is 18, and it is 36, 2 times 36. So, HCF is 18. That is the highest number, that is 18. We divide 540, then we get remainder is 5. Find out here, that is 545, and we divide is 18. 18, 3 is 54, 5, 0 is 0, 5. Then remainder is 5. Similarly, you divide 18 to the number 129, then you get remainder is 3. So, your question is what is the largest number that divides this and remainder 3 and 5? So, first we subtract the remainder from this number and then find the HCF. Dear student, if you have found HCF and HCF, then always you find HCF by division methods and when you find, want to find LCF, then our ordinary method as you previous classes you know it so find hcf and cf in no any condition in given your questions that times you have to find hcf then clearly you find hcf by division method similarly any questions you have find lcm no any condition are given that times you find lcm by you, your easy method that you know about in previous classes so now see next question now see example 13 that is two tanks there are two tanks contains 504 liter and 735 liter of milk respectively that means this container contains 504 liter and this container contains 735 liter respectively find the maximum capacity of a container that is other container. What is the maximum capacity of that container which can measure the milk exactly of either tank of the number of times. That means what is the maximum number of this other container which measure this and this exactly. Dear student, that means you have to find that is that what number we divide exactly of this number and this number and that is the maximum number. So it is clear you have found HCF. Find out from it. There are two containers. One container 504 liter, other container 735 liter. Your question is, you find the capacity of capacity of third container, that container exactly measurement the liquid, the milk of this container and this container exactly times. Suppose 2, 3, 5 penny liter in a small container but exactly divides 
this and this container exactly times. So it, that is the what is the capacity of that container. That means you have to find that is what number and that is the maximum number that divides 504 and 735 exactly. So that means you have to find the HCM. So read questions carefully and clear in mind that you have to find HCM and LCM. That means it is clear, you find the HCM. But by what methods you find the HCM? So generally you have found the HCF then use you division methods. It is very simple. So you have only required required measure of time is equal to HCF of 504 and 735. So find here HCM. Like as here is 735 and 504. This is one time. This is 504. 1, 3, 2. That is 231. Again 504. Again one time 231. Then 3. Here 9. 6. Here is 4. 2. Next here is 2. 63. No? Here is subtract 1 times. That is 231. Then you get here 3, 9 minus 3, 6, here is now 4 minus 2, 231, you have by 2 times, sorry, 4, 62, here is 2, here is 9 minus 10 minus 6, that is 4, 42, and this is 231, you had how many times? 42 into 3, 3 to the 6, 126, 42 into 4, that is 4 to the 8, 168, 42, 5 to the 210, 42, 5 to the 5 to the 10, 5 to the 20, 210, and 42, 6 to the 6 to the 12, 6 to the 24, 252, so you write 5 is 210, that is 21, and now 42, you added 2 times, that means you find that C of 21, so required number, required the measurement of the mill container is 21 liter, as the size of the container, then this 21 liter container divides exactly 504 and 735 and not more than this we cannot find any other number that divides 504 and 735 exactly so your answer is that required the size of the capacity of the container is 21 liter so you find the HCF by division method and you can find out the answer now see question number 15 that is example of 15 exercise 1 b a street seller has 420 kaju burkis 420 kaju burkis and 150 badam burkis he wants to extract means day he wants to extract them in such a way that each extract has the same number Kaju Barfi has 420 and Badam Barfi is only 150. But you want to make a stack and the number of Barfis in each stack are the same. That means that number divides Kaju Barfis and Badam Barfi exactly. Suppose 5 divides both, 
then each step will be 5. But this 5 is not maximum. Your question maximum. So what number divides the kaju barfi and what number divides the badam barfi exactly and that is the largest number. So in direct way you can say in this large questions you have to find HCF. So read the question carefully. A sweet seller has 420 kaju barfis and 150 badam barfis. He wants to stack them in such a way that each stack has the same number and they take off the least area of the tray. How many these stacks can be placed in each stack? How many barfis can be placed in each stack? And how many stacks are four? So dear student, first you find HCF solution. Required number of barfi is HCF out 420 and 150 and HCF is solved by method division that is 150 2 times 300 then 120 it is 150 1 times 120 it is 30 I divide 120 then it is 4 times so it is 30 so required number, required number of barfis is 30. That is the maximum number of barfis in each stack is 30. So what is the number of the kaju barfis stacks and what is the number of the badam barfis stacks? So total number of stacks, total number of stacks are here is 420 and the number of each stack is 30 then you get 420 by 30 plus here is 150 by 30 so you get here 14 and you get here 5 so 14 aspects of the Kajubarfi and 5 aspects of the Badambarfi then total aspects are 90 so the number of the each stack is 30 and 30 is the maximum number that divide 420 and 150. So dear student, you read questions carefully and then you solve if you have find LCF or LCF. So remain questions, try to solve by self. If you have any problem, then ask to me. Thank you.